It is minus, almost minus 20 degrees, guys. Hey, I'm back. I took a, I took some time off. I'll tell you why. Can't see everything's fogged up. Can't see anything. Oh. So what's new? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I have been over the past six months to a year, I guess you could say, been searching not impatiently, but I've been taking my time for a new truck. Hold on a second, I got a defrosters are on, so I don't know if you can hear me that well, but I found it. Here's candy. I have been looking for a particular truck, and I have not been able to find one. I mean, you can see I found one now, but I have not been able to find it for a long time, and I have been looking. It's it's cold. It's like minus 20 degrees. Did I mention that? Yeah. Even the cameras on the truck are all fogged up. I can't even see through the cameras. But anyway, we're going for our very first drive in 20 below zero weather. Isn't it badass? Heck yeah! It's our last hurrah for cold weather, I think, though. So we want to make sure everything's warmed up. I sure am glad I'm not driving a diesel right now. I will tell you that. Yeah, buddy. So anyway, we got a 2024 crew cab, long bed, four-wheel drive, 7.3 Godzilla engine from Ford. And it's badass. So, yeah, let me get back with you. I want to get everything nice and defrosted. Okay, for, for right now, we got it a little bit defrosted, and we're gonna take it out on the highway and get on it a little bit. Cause we can, right? It's, uh, we got a free tank of gas when we bought this. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. One thing I didn't know, I've been going through that Ford dealership in, in Brainerd Baxter area, Mills Ford, on and off, mostly on for, what honey, a year now? A long time. And I have not been able to find any Super Duties, any diesels, anything, let alone the one I was looking for, the 7.3. I guess you're making a 6.8 now. But anyway, we're talking about my truck, the 7.3 liter. It has a 3.73 uh, axle ratio, 430 horsepower with 475 pounds of torque is w what this truck has. And I need that to pull my uh, Kubota track loader and things like that around with. I haven't done anything but drive it home from the dealership, so this is the next morning. And I'm going to take it out in this frigid weather just to see how it does. And it's a nice day for a drive. Heck yeah! Okay, this is uh, this particular truck is pushing the 10-speed uh, Allison transmission. I think it's the same one. Pretty sure it's the same one they used on the 6.7 uh, Power Stroke diesel truck. So yeah, it's pretty badass. It's that's pretty pretty good. gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty smooth and that was only up to uh, 60 miles an hour. So this is not this is not going to be used for my truck camper at all. In fact, I think uh, Candy just told me she pulled something out of the glove box. It, it, it has a picture of a truck slide-in truck camper in the bed of this thing with an X through it, meaning, no, not for that. 
that's okay because we have the Kodiak for that. We're not going to use this truck for that anyway. This truck is going to be used to uh, pull my little homemade trailer around and yeah, do some uh, backcountry kayaking and fishing and sporting and outdoor life and things like that. Plus, we plan on down the road not this summer but the summer after this summer getting a camper a pull behind camper instead of a truck camper so that when we go places we'll have a vehicle readily readily available to use because you know we unhook the camper leave it behind unlike our truck camper which will be even badasser is that a word badasser As the day goes on here, it's now uh, minus 10 degrees instead of minus 17 when we first started the, the truck up. So yeah, progress. Sun came out. Makes all the difference in the world. Getting on the highway now. some kind of smoke going on here toward Pine River what is oh that's coming out of a chimney it's one of those uh, outdoor furnaces somebody must be uh, heating their house which is badass gas here is $2.59 a gallon for unleaded $3.59 for diesel so that's a dollar's difference so I'm glad I have a gas engine now, a big block. Now, as I am to understand it, this is a V8 old school push rod. So that that's cool. And yeah, there's no giant frills on this truck. This is what Ford decided to build because they knew their diesel engines were well, they're good engines. The only problem is that is it the afterburn of those engines with all the depth fluid and things like that. It's just, unless you're towing and running that thing hot 24-7 all the time, that the new, diesel, the new diesel engines, all they want to do is regenerate and get clogged up. So I think Ford made this truck as a response to that and for the people that are tired of... Uh, depth fluid and all that regeneration all that kind of crap that's involved with diesel engines cold starts yeah I prefer a diesel but not today's diesels quite honestly Candy's uh, doing some research to find out where the tow haul mode is on this I think it's right here but yeah we, we want to make sure Okay, we're all the way up in uh, Cass County, Pine River. We've This is the second time we've been here this, well, probably in the last year or so. We went to the new tractor supply. Y'all remember that video? Probably not. Which is right there. So we're just going for a drive. I don't think we're going to stop anywhere. Because we're broke now. Right, honey? Yep. <laughs> she confirms it. Yeah. We usually stop at secondhand stores and pick up stuff that we don't need or want and, you know, set it down somewhere in our house and walk around it for the next three years. Yeah.
they done a lot of work up here. Making it nicer for the uh, the Pine River Bridge. There's a few people out in these freezing temperatures. Right now it says minus eight. This is, you know, for a one ton truck, this is a pretty smooth ride, don't you think, honey? Oh, yeah. Also, uh, everything, it has a 360 degree camera angle so that you can see all the way around the truck, including from the top down. I don't know how they did that, but they did. And it just purring, minus seven degrees now. And right now we're uh, taking all the back roads. We're in Cross Lake, Minnesota now, coming from Cass County and Pine River. There's some uh, ice fishermen on the lakes out here. There's no permanent shelters, but a lot of tent camping or tent fishing ice tents that we could see. Because it's only been really cold for the past eight to ten days would be my guess. I think tomorrow is going to be like the end of the, the cold spell. They say. Okay, we made it home. I just thought I'd show you that. It says not recommended. Not recommended. I, you know, I know it wasn't going to use it for that anyway, but that's nice to know just in case because I do have a truck camper. Remember that? A lot of the, uh, not a lot, there's a Everyone that I've looked at on, on YouTube and other uh, truck forums love, love, love this, this truck and this engine. And I guess the, the people that are posting on YouTube love it. The people that are posting in the comments of the people that are posting on YouTube, maybe not all of them, not so much. And a, a, a good deal of it has to do with uh, the commercial vehicles that they're putting these engines in like uh ambulances u-hauls campers uh, you know mail trucks who knows what else so they I guess they like they did that old boat anchor v10 which i'm not a big fan of the old ford v10 just to me that's a crap engine but i guess they're replacing that with this now the beef on it that i can see is lifters and camshaft the lifters uh, supposedly wear out and they put they get metal into the engine, in which case then you have to scrap the whole engine and, and replace it. Usually about thirty to 40,000 miles is from what I'm, I'm hearing. But it's always, 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 or most always in the, uh, the commercial trucks, like the box U-Hauls and RVs and things like that. And it's usually be because they throttle back the horsepower, they eco back the horsepower to 300 from 430, as I am to understand it, and that's what causes the problem. A lot of idling and a smaller oil pump, which is supposed to give you better gas mileage and things like that, combined with uh, not as much horsepower. Same engine, but they throttle it back. You know, they. They hook a computer or something out of it and throttle it way, way back so they can juice up these uh, U-Hauls and things like that. They're putting the engines in. Now, supposedly that was back in 222 before, and they have since corrected that problem. I got to tell you, I got a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty on this truck. Anything goes wrong whatsoever up to 75,000 miles. I bought a little extended warranty, not a full extended, but a little extended up to five years. So I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm not even thinking about anything like that because I don't think it's an issue. Usually about 2% of all vehicles, you know, trucks included, is going to have some kind of catastrophic, catastrophic fail rating. I think that's in every vehicle, and I think that's the industry standard. Just off the top of my head from what I know about 
what little I know about, yeah, that kind of thing. So 2% I can live with. And like, there's a lot of diesel fanboys out there, you know, that just, it doesn't matter what you say or do, it's going to be diesel all the way. But that's not for me anymore. I've been the diesel route. And it's just been one headache after another after another. I paid forty-four grand for that six-liter 2003 Ford diesel dually that I had. I don't. I no longer have it. That's still in the family, though. Let's just say I didn't sell it. It's in the family still. It still runs. As far as I know, it still runs like a champ. But that's after about forty thousand dollars worth of repairs ongoing repairs since 2003 you know replacing turbos and <sighs> what's the other thing that went out all the time the uh, fuel injectors intercooler yeah it's just a, a major pain in the ass so we we drove about a hundred miles today just about and it's in sub-zero temperatures it 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 drives flawlessly I'm, I'm i'm figuring everything i love this truck i love this this truck feels custom made to just me so heck with all the haters this is what you call bare bones old school big block bully truck that's the way i look at it. i love it i just love this truck i love everything about it it's just so big and you know everything folds up there's space everywhere all of this stuff has big giant compartments it has uh usb ports 12 volts ports inverter points it's pretty badass it has uh, two steps to get in the bed we got one right directly in the back and toward the front takes regular 87 we got the long bed what the heck is this thing? I don't know. But anyway, I did figure this uh, tailgate out. You have to unlock it. See that? You can hear it. All right, that's how uh, it's key unlocks it just like a door. And it has a look at that. It has a little measuring yardstick on the tailgate. So if you're working like I always do. You can measure stuff. We, uh, even though I've been spending a lot of time looking for a new truck, which I got, I've still been going to Harbor Freight and I've still been picking up a few Harbor Freight accessories. Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, don't do it. Don't Jesse, don't do it. 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 Don't it's true. Anyway, it isn't that I've been neglecting my project. It's just that I'm waiting on some steel that I need to uh, continue the, the project, let's just say. And I would have had it by now, but uh, one of the uh, people at the steel store that I really shop at, I really like, got injured and had to take some time off. And he was coincidentally the guy that does all the plasma cutting. So I have uh, basically four Punisher cutouts. You know, the skull Punisher, like that flag over there. I have a, a four of those cutouts being made. They, they would have been done like weeks ago, but 
He got injured doing that. He had somehow smashed his hand or something. I don't know, but I, I'm just thankful he's okay because it sounded really painful. In fact, when I stopped there the other day, I was talking to his wife and I just, she was telling me what happened. I just had her stop. I go, just, just stop. I don't want to hear no more because it sounded that painful. It really sounded painful having your hand crushed. Yeah, this is going to be a long recovery, I think. Having said that, we're still going to finish this project. We just still have the skeleton. I haven't done anything since the last video with it, but, but we'll get going. I have uh, a few new tools I want to show off, including the truck, right? We're going to get into the truck. I'll make more videos about that, a lot more videos about that as time goes on. Believe me, it's going to be a big part of my life, just like my wife and my dog, right? Yeah. Wife, dog, truck. And because no one's here, they're all spread out across the world. Extended family, right? <laughs> so we're looking at immediate needs that I can reach first, okay? So, yeah, I, I'm going to get to work back on that before too long because I'm th thinking probably early this coming week. So Harbor Freight's latest deal is if you spend $40, they'll give you another free gift. And the gift I had was just some tie-down straps at uh, a value of $25. Four tie-down straps, you know what they look like. They're, they're pretty solid, pretty sturdy, pretty beefy tie-down straps. And I'm going to leave them in our trailer build that we built the trailer and in the toolbox there so they'll be there when I need them along with a few other things I got which I'll show you later. I picked up this uh, Hercules uh, tool cradle. I think it was $54 and that's when they gave me the tie down straps for free when I picked this up. So yeah, I, my Hercules tool collection is growing such that I need more storage for it. Yeah, it's a good problem to have, right? Right. And for $30 off, 30, I got this for $69, regular $99.99. It's a Bauer hammer drill. It's corded and it comes with brushes. It's not brushless, but for, for 69 bucks, they have a standalone hammer drill. Yeah, totally worth it. Believe me when I tell you, I will be using this several times a year. It's going to be a lot easier than my DeWalt regular handheld hammer drill that I've been using, battery operated. So that's going to be a nice addition. It has a hammer setting, hammer drill setting, and a just standalone hammer setting on it. Right on the side, it's nothing fancy. It does feel solid, it feels heavy. It feels like it's quality. I haven't used it yet, but well, yeah, stay tuned. Also under uh, Inside Track Club membership, I was able to pick up these uh, carbide burrs, these uh, you know, for your die grinder. And these work fantastic. So, you know, 10 bucks off is 10 bucks off. The regular 70 bucks, I picked this up for 60 bucks. We got the Harbor Freight fan. A DeWalt fan like this is $149. I have one, it works great. I use it all the time, especially camping. This one was 29 bucks. Haven't used it yet, but yeah, for 29 bucks, come on. It looks the same, it feels the same. 10 hours runtime, it's a little louder than my uh, DeWalt fan, but isn't that what makes you sleep better? Worth it, totally worth it. Remember I showed you the circular saw, the seven and the 
seven and a fourth inch, I guess it is, circular saw. Yeah, seven and a fourth inch with the magnesium base that looks like plastic. Yeah, I showed you that. Well, I picked up the uh, six and a half inch too, also, because if you buy one, you gotta buy the other. Those are the rules. Deal with it. Look at that. Heck yeah. Now I picked up a couple of bags like this previously from Home Depot. The Husky brand, really cheap on sale because you know no one buys these, no one wants them. This was 54 bucks and I think I got them even cheaper in the Husky brand, just as well made. They're, they're laying around here somewhere. I haven't never used them, but that didn't say Hercules on it. This one says Hercules on it, right? They won't steal it. No, all kidding aside, it's a, it's a really nice bag. It's got a place to hold your tape measure there, all these pockets, and you know, your typical bag, a place for a, a handsaw on the side here. It's, it's nothing spectacular, but it does feel like it is quality. I can say that. It feels rugged. It feels sturdy. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it uh, to carry uh, as a, like it's supposed to be used as a toolbox. Mostly probably around, around the uh, homestead, but I might even throw this in the toolbox on the back of our trailer build. Another storage compartment. Yeah. Play that by ear. So I wanted to touch base with you to let you know that January is just that kind of month that I, I, I'm I busier than shit. I just am, but it's just doing stuff that I always do and you guys probably tired of seeing it, right? Yeah, my guess would be probably, I do a lot of snow clearing, let's put it that way. You can only post so many snow clearing videos and we haven't had a lot of snow. So here we are, we're going into uh, February, and I expect more of the same. But we're going to finish this project. We got some other things on the burner, the truck, our Harbor Freight tools, and yeah, the list goes on. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, it never ends here. See you later. I need a bigger shop. Too late now, you bought a truck, Jesse. I know. This is life in the north. You clear all the snow one day, you clear the driveway, you, you get your snow blower out, you make trails to make life more convenient so you don't have to trudge snow everywhere you go. And the very next day, or sometimes even a few hours later, you have to start all over again. It's badass! Heck yeah! Recall the summer skies I'd stay up late And I'd fantasize About your deep stare And sun-kissed eyes It was paradise Oh, I'm Crossing my fingers I hope that you notice me They always said that I wouldn't amount to a thing I can't remember my Phone number or sing Oh, I'll see Maybe I should ask you out, but I know that you wouldn't I really love you, but I know that I shouldn't Pick up my phone, I'm a fool but you love it Oh, I'm a fool and you love it I'm a fool but you love it Oh, I'm a fool and you love it Can't believe that I got so lucky You care for me Ah, you impress effortlessly I stop and think Why did you pick me? Ah, crossing my fingers I hope that you notice me They always said that I Wouldn't amount to a thing I can't remember my Phone number or sing Oh, I'll see 
ask you out, but I know that you wouldn't I really love you, but I know that I shouldn't Pick up my phone, I'm a fool but you love it Oh, I'm a fool and you love it I'm a fool but you love it Oh, I'm a fool and you love it